Marriage. Unless marriage is built upon the rock of oneness, it cannot stand, two souls with but a single thought, two hearts that beat as one. The poet understood this, for unless man and wife are living the same thoughts, or living in the same thought world, they must inevitably drift apart. Thought is a tremendous vibratory force, and man is drawn to his thought creations. For example, a man and woman married and were apparently happy. The man became successful and his tastes improved, but the wife still lived in a limited consciousness. Whenever the man bought anything he went to the best shops and selected what he needed regardless of price. Whenever the wife went out she haunted the five and ten cent stores. He was living, in thought, on Fifth Avenue and her thought world was on Third Avenue. Eventually the break in separation came. We see this so often in the cases of rich and successful men who desert their faithful, hard-working wives later in life. The wife must keep pace with her husband's taste and ambitions and live in his thought world, for where a man thinks in his heart there is he. There is for each person his other half or divine selection. These two are one in their thought worlds. These are the two whom God has joined together and no man shall, or can, part asunder. The twain shall be made one, for in the superconscious mind of each is the same divine plan. Affirmation I give thanks that the marriage made in heaven is now made manifest upon earth. The twain shall be made one inch now and for all eternity.